In this video I'm going to show you the best risk global domination turtling strategies. But firstly let me explain what do I mean by turtling. Turtling is when you play mostly defensively putting your troops into one or few big armies inside your continent rather than borders. This is because you wouldn't irritate your opponents, as if you build a huge army next to your opponent's border then that opponent can freak out thinking that you want to attack him, so he starts building an army next to your border too, eventually he can become so triggered by that, so he could decide to crush your army. And this opponent's decision could really ruin both of your chances to win or even make both of you lose. So in order to prevent that and not to irritate your opponent, we build armies inside our continents rather than on the borders. Or like unless you're turtling in Australia, then obviously you're going to build your army on the border, Australia doesn't border with other continents anyways, so no player will be triggered by it, well besides Asia, but seriously, nobody is ever gets to hold Asia. So yeah. Oh and one more important aspect, before you start turtling in your continent, always make sure to make alliances with your neighboring players, so they wouldn't attack you into your unguarded continent. And without further ado, let's move to the best risk global domination turtling strategies showcased in the random order. First of all, starting with the Australian turtle strategy. With Australia it's simple. Australia is the most isolated continent when it comes to the classic map, and with only having one border you can safely put your army on it. As your army won't irritate anyone anyways. So you can put your army into Siam, or Indonesia. But usually players go with Siam, so the Asian player could forget of going for Asia. And that only you could potentially expand and capture Asia if there will be such an opportunity. But in case you want to look as passive as possible, then you could put your army into Indonesia. And before we go to the other turtling strategies, firstly you might want to ask what's the purpose of doing it. And it is to let your opponents do all the dirty work for you. You don't threaten anyone while just capturing a territory per turn to get a card and putting your troops inside your continent, while you let your opponents fight with each other, so they would destroy themselves. So basically you just wait till you have more troops than them combined and then just simply you take them out. Without even basically having any enemies during the entire game, sounds cool, right? And now let's talk about South American Turtle strategy. When you turtle in South America, you make alliances with North American and African players and build a huge army in the territory of Peru. In Peru rather than Argentina so your army will work as a counter-attack army for both of your borders rather than only African one. So when you're putting your troops into Peru, both of the neighboring players will be afraid of invading you since they know that your big army can be used against them, but at the same time they won't be building big armies next to you as you don't guard your continent at all. Note, if you don't want to get completely blocked stopping getting cards, then additionally make sure to have some smaller army into Asia as well, nobody is usually going for Asia anyways, so that army should be safe. Just make sure that it's not too small. But in case some savage player decides to blitz it anyways, then just continue turtling in South America without getting cards, that will be alright. Now moving to the African turtle strategy, you make alliances with South American and European players, putting your troops to one big army in the territory of East Africa so none of them will be irritated by you. You could also make an alliance with the Australian player too, just to be safe. But in case the Australian player is aggressive and keeps attacking you, then you can split your armies like this, or you can capture the territory of Middle East and put some troops there. Or even your whole army, but maybe only some troops, as if you put your whole army there, then the Australian player could think that you want to suicide on him, and since you won't have a counter-attack army on the East Africa territory anymore, then the South American player could consider attacking you if he's not that good of an ally. Now moving to the European turtle strategy you need to make an alliance with all of the players if possible. Europe even has four borders, so it could be extremely hard to hold it even with properly guarding it. But for the turtling strategy, you can build two different armies inside of Europe. One on the territory of Northern Europe, so it will be a counter-attack army against the African and Australian players, and basically anyone from Asia. 
and another army on either Scandinavia, or Great Britain, in order to have a counter-attack army from the North American player. Or if you trust the North American player well enough, then you can just simply build only one big army in Northern Europe instead of two. If the Australian player is aggressive and keeps attacking you, then you can guard Europe by putting some troops on Southern Europe and Ukraine territories. Or if the African player is turtling as well, then you could even team up with him and do something like that. The Australian player will be prevented from attacking you both. Moving on to the North American turtle strategy, you make alliances with South American and European players, having two counter-attack armies. One in Western United States or Eastern United States territory, to discourage the South American player from attacking you. And another one in the Northwest territory to discourage the European player from invading you. In case someone attacks from Asia whether it's the Australian player or someone else. Then you can guard the Asian border by putting some troops into the territory of Alaska or Kamchatka. And before we go to the Asian turtle strategy, firstly I want to say that you could even turtle without a continent at all, putting your troops into one big army somewhere in a neutral place so you wouldn't irritate anyone. And then you just wait for opportunities, eventually you might get an opportunity to get a continent for yourself, or the players might just crush each other, so you might win without having any continent at all. And now I will share the strategy which you probably have been waiting the most. That's right. The Asian Turtles strategy. You build three different armies in India, China, and Mongolia territories. The Indian won against the African and European players, the Chinese won against the European and Australian players, and the Mongolian won against the North American player. Well, actually do not use the Asian turtle strategy, or unless you play an unranked game just for fun, as it's just way too risky, one player or another one, even with having alliances, will definitely invade you, so you just be without a continent at all, and since you brought the attention to yourself, you might even get eliminated first. 